and I ordered my mom's favorite cheesecake. And I ate that and I thought of her and I, you know, and I laughed. And I think about all of it, the good, the bad. Welcome or welcome back to T. Jones TV, where we mind the business that pays us. It just happens to be theirs. With that in mind, remember to like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Now let's go sip some tea. Yeah, so I'm different than most people. Um, I gave up being sad in grief after my son died. Um, I just want to honor life. I had a chicken cheesesteak the other day in Vegas. And it was a real Philly cheesesteak from Tony Luke Jr.'s in Vegas. And I ordered my mom's favorite cheesecake. And I ate that and I thought of her and I, you know, and I laughed. And I think about all of it, the good, the bad, but just honoring the life, the existence of it. And I think that's the thing that writing my mother's obituary has been really hard because at times I find myself pushing the line on lying. And you shouldn't have to lie about a life. You should be able to just call it out for what it was and celebrate and be grateful for making it through. So here I am with my sis and she's my real sister, not biology, not biology, spiritually. She goes so much deeper than you could ever know. Did you want to say hi? It's your call. You don't have, we don't have to do the cam thing. Oh, that weird bitch, that fucking Avenger bitch is live. Talking about me again. Hey, you the main topic. Uh, only topic. That's what I said, man. Oh my God, Jesus. I do celebrate my successes all the time. And my, I think my greatest successes, though, for me, have been my relationships. Like, it's so funny. Like, people get their hands on, like, just a couple of people. You know, and, you know, a, a couple of people who are, for the most part, totally irrelevant. People that you've let go of, you've made your peace with, you moved on. And, and they don't want to let go. And they don't want to let go. And, and that's the thing. When you're constantly being forced to defend your past even though you're doing everything you can do to move away from your past, but everyone else keeps asking you questions about the fucking past. So how the fuck do we get past it if you don't let it go? You know, and, and shout out to Shaka Zulu, my nephew, and, and, and shout out to Solar, shout out to Azine, and shout out to Velvet, and shout out to Janae. That carbon shit, you know? That carbon fucking nation shit. And, and, and now the people that were obsessed with the story, they don't want to let it go. He's in jail for life. And they don't want to let it go. Guess what? Guess who else doesn't want to let it go? The wives. They want to keep it going. They want to turn this into a movement. The semen dabbing movement. We're going to dab semen and get close to a fucking freak of nature. Like, weird. You know, thank you. And what I would rather wish than people wish me condolences, wish me happy memories. Because that's really what's going to get you through. And when I go back and I look at my relationship with my mom, I spoil her the fuck to death. I treated her better than any child she ever had. And I honored her even when she stabbed me in the back. Even when, you know, shit wasn't good. Like, I'm not going to sit here in front like me and my mom had a perfect relationship. We did not. And there are things that were still undone between us. But I got complete with them while she was alive. So whether it was done or undone, I'm complete. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't need her for those conversations. We completed that before she passed. And I just find it interesting that my so-called half biological sibling, because that's Larry Lacey's child. She is no part of right. No way. Rights don't play about their dead. We claim our dead. And we bury them properly. We don't call bloggers. And set up interviews. And relay death notices on Facebook. We don't, rights don't do that. I don't know what kind of weirdo motherfucking family people y'all know. But we claim our dead. So. How do we feel about that? How do we feel about my sister who did nothing but fucking bring my mother strife and grief and misery all our fucking lives. She was the fucking just the worst shit that ever fucking happened. To all of us. And even now. In my mother's death. She's still playing games. And, and, and got a bunch of bloggers. Putting out cash at. So she can collect money for a funeral. She ain't fucking planning. So. How do we feel about that? How do we feel about my sister. Who did nothing but fucking bring my mother strife and grief and misery all our fucking lives. She was the fucking just the worst shit that ever fucking happened. To all of us. And even now in my mother's death. She's still playing games. And, and, and got a bunch of bloggers putting out cash at. So she can collect money for a funeral she ain't fucking planning. Meanwhile, I got some nigga named Trayvon calling me from a 201 number. And every time I call, he don't answer. But then he's always leaving me these fucking paragraph messages about some shit. About me collecting my mother's remains. Then why the fuck don't you answer the phone, Trayvon? When I call him, don't worry, I ain't going to dox Trayvon. Okay? I ain't going to dox Trayvon. It ain't even worth it. But, you know, what I do know well, is, is this. What don't come out in the wash, going to come out in the rinse. At the end of the day, all this shit gonna get clean. And I promise you this. I will claim my dead. And I will honor and do the proper last rites over my mother's life. I got nothing to feel bad about. Exactly a 201 number. I don't know. Maybe in Tom's River. I don't fucking know. I know one thing. Lachelle Angela Wright Wallace, the rapist marrier, the crack baby deliverer, the thief du jour, who only steals for herself and not even for her own children. I'm talking about you, bitch. My mother's greatest mistake. She should have dropped you in a fucking dumpster. Whatever. You know, she got lucky. People fucking loved her while she stabbed everybody in the back. And she's still playing games. Still playing everybody fucking face. At 56 years old. That's the kind of sense you're making at 50 fucking six. This bitch is almost a decade older than me And she acts like she's 15 years younger than me And it's been that way since I was a baby Which would mean By the time I was 3 years old She, she was negative 7 <laughs> Weddings and funerals They bring the worst out in families I don't get no fuck what nobody say When somebody died People say stupid yeah. shit when somebody get married, everybody asks for all the wrong people, shit. It makes people come together, but... In the wrong also, fucking way. Right. You don't talk to motherfuckers for years. Then your family hey, dies. Hey, Javon. Here they come. Javon, I got a new phone. I got to give you my new number. I, I'm going to drop it. Uh, I tell you what I know.
cherish every moment. That's what I say. Turn your life into art. And cherish every fucking moment. Because we get a date coming in, but we do not get a date going out. Enjoy your life. Because this is how we're ending our day. But I ain't want to gossip, so if anyone asks you, you ain't heard it from me.